Hey, what it do, surprise, shoddy crew. So I have a few things. Um, I don't have notes, and I'm going to try to be quick. Uh, Kingdom Obedience Ministries, um, our, our good sis, she released a word like 30 minutes ago. Um, go check it out. It was like spot on, like what I've been experiencing, confirmation of what he's been telling me. It was just spot on. Um, but there are other things I kind of want to talk about today. And like I said, I'm going to try my best to be um, brief. One of the first things is stronger than ever. Um, and it can apply to individual areas in your life or overall. For me, I do feel like it's overall because it is in different different areas of my life but whatever the enemy has tried whatever you've gone through whatever um you may have been afflicted by whatever what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger and then monica still standing you know she says that well i must be the world's strongest woman when i reshared that the other day i was in here crying because i was like i mean right um and not only that but one of my favorite songs is Marvin Sapp, Never Would Have Made It. You know, like, I'm stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better, much better. And I've just been feeling like that because um, as transparent as I am, and I know I've been telling y'all this, the end of 2022 was really hard for me. And then to be in a restful January is like, I mean, it didn't kill me. I knew that's what the goal was, but it didn't kill me. So in that, yes, you can still be grateful, right? Um, and if you caught the community post last night, um, that's what we always need to choose to be grateful, to choose life. And me being an engineer and so inquisitive, we were talking about this over the weekend, I just like to understand things like why, why, why. And that has been one of my struggles in my faith walk because God is not something, someone that you can understand. His ways aren't our ways. His thoughts aren't our thoughts. And so that has been very challenging for me in my faith walk, right? And also just like authority and his sovereignty and all of that. But looking back and really realizing like regardless of why certain things happened, why they had to happen that way, I'm only stronger because of it. I'm only better because of it. I'm only wiser because of it. Right. Kingdom marriage specifically, um, y'all will always learn and grow together. In all relationships, you learn and grow how to be a better person like to other humans. You learn how to really love. You learn how to effectively communicate. All of those things. Um, so many of the prophetic insight messages for kingdom marriage is you know like somebody was in the wife ear somebody was in the husband ear somebody in both y'all ear at the same time blah 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 and i saw it played out um on something i was watching and so it's done to bring demise to the relationship it's done so that you all don't do what you naturally would do but you're worried and and and, and, and a lot of it is because you want it to be right you want it to work out and so you're more vulnerable to listen to the voice of insiders or outsiders right to help you if it's not the voice of the holy spirit you know god who put y'all together what is the goal right and so even when the both of you realize that or if one of y'all realize that and it's like hey you were just trying to break us up you were just trying to split us up you were just trying to separate us for some of us we're in a place where it's like you gonna have to been in a place and this ain't i ain't new to this place but you gonna have to check what you hear and check the lies that because that's what the world gonna do that's what people are gonna do you gonna have to check that so that it doesn't affect how you move and how you treat them. You're going to have to check the negative version of you that be talking, right? Like the version of you that self-sabotage, all of that. But I say all that to say because when y'all beat these different things, when you come out of these different things, you're now stronger, wiser, and better. I see why the witches was crying in my dream, right? 
So for a lot of you, for a lot of us, you are stronger than ever. When you choose to stand up after an attack, when you choose to stand up after a battle, when you choose to stand, you're stronger than whatever it was that tried to knock you down, whatever made you wobble. Or for some, maybe you really did get knocked down, right? Like maybe it really was like, hey, get up, you know? Um, that's how I feel. But when you decide to get back up, because not quitting, do not quit, has been in the spirit too. When you decide to get back up by default, you are stronger and you're stronger than ever because every round with him goes higher and higher. I have never been in this place in my faith walk. I have never been this spiritually or emotionally mature because I'm going to continue to grow and elevate. Lastly, I feel like God gave me something supernatural for my anxiety. And this is someone who has abused, um, you know, different things in the past because of her anxiety. It's like he gave me a holy chill pill. I don't know what he did, <laughs> but learn how to rest and learning how to rest because I would hear those words and be like, how do you, how do you do that? Like he ain't telling me to sleep all day. That's not what he's saying. How do you rest? And really in my life, rest looks like relinquishing control, like stop trying to control it and rest in the fact that he's God. Even if you don't understand why God do what he do, why God allow different things? Cause that's in his sovereignty and you cannot fight God's sovereignty. Like this is somebody who will sit down like you write, I can't and then get back up and still try to fight it. Like sit down somewhere. That's what rest looks like to me. And that's why you're stronger too, because you are exerting yourself trying to be God, trying to play God. So just kind of rolling with the punches. Um, but that's it. You are stronger than ever. Um, I know I am. It's just, here we go. We on a new level. It's always going to be like that. Like, we don't ever just arrive. We never just arrive. But you're stronger than ever. Your relationship is stronger than ever because y'all keep learning and growing and surviving all of these things. Like, all right, so...